It all started in the 1950s when a woman named Eunice Shriver saw the limited rights of those with intellectual disabilities. This included their limited participation in sports. She was later entrusted with the Joseph P. Kennedy Foundation, which helped identify the causes of mental disabilities. In 1962, Miss Shriver decided to hold a summer camp for those with mental disabilities in the backyard of her home in Washington, D.C. After five years of development, this camp provided summer activities for more than 7,000 children with intellectual disabilities. This drew the attention of many people, and because the Kennedy Foundation was not progressing in Chicago, she decided to hold the first Special Olympic Games at Soldier Field in 1968. These Olympic Games were a huge success, raising awareness for those with mental disabilities. Today, the Worldwide Special Olympic Games are held every two years, with the next one being held in Los Angeles 2015. The Special Olympic headquarters are in Washington, D.C., with office locations worldwide, including in 49 out of the 50 states. In Maryland, Special Olympic offices are specified by county. Athletes compete at a regional level and, depending on success, may move on to state competitions, national competitions, or even international competitions. This organization allows those who are born with mental disabilities to compete in sports that are otherwise unavailable for them to compete in. Without the Special Olympics, people with mental disabilities would not be able to compete in athletics. This would limit their ability to follow their dreams of becoming athletes. Other students should look into helping with the Special Olympics because it's an excellent opportunity to help a group of people that society is less familiar with. By helping with the Special Olympics, you are allowing those with mental disabilities to have an opportunity to follow their dreams.